Hello everybody, uh, this is Mr. C here coming uh, live at you from my basement as I'm going through trying to show you a couple of things. Today I want to uh, kind of go over some what I refer to as constructive geometry uh, for this uh, figure 3-82 drawing just as a reminder on how to actually do it um, and how to figure out how to draw some of these lines. Now, um, in that particular problem, uh, you're given the lengths of all those lines, and then you're also given some of the angles to solve the actual problem, which generally isn't an issue, um, except for the fact that AutoCAD gives all angles from the X positive location from every endpoint that you do. So I want to go over a little bit today. It's called constructive geometry. It should be a refresher for a lot of you as far as how to um, recall and how to actually figure out where these angles should come from and how to best draw this particular problem. So one of the first things I'm going to do up here is I want to go ahead and I want to create a new layer. So you'll notice I've got some different layers uh, already established there, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a construction line layer. Um, best way to go ahead and do that was, of course, to just drop a construction line in there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that cross. I'm going to hit that at and put that in there at zero, uh, comma zero, drop it in, and that will create our layer. So from here on now, as I go. I'm going to go ahead and draw things in my construction line layer to kind of give you an idea of how this should actually be working. Now, the first step, of course, when we go to draw this is to just draw from uh, 0, 0, and it tells you that 0, 0 is point A, which is given at this lower right-hand vertex here on this. Um, and then we're going from different points there, and the you got to actually sit there and know what some of these angle calculations are i.e supplementary complementary angles uh, maybe your fact that your triangles add up to 180 degrees so i talked a little bit about using the restrict cursor ortho orthogonally or ortho mode so i'm going to set that up and i'm just going to create a couple of lines to show you here, and we'll back repeat that line, just to kind of show you and remind you here as we go, repeat the line, and in order to repeat that line, I'm just uh, back clicking, so we right click, repeat line, each of these points. So I'll right click, repeat line, and these are all construction lines that I'm generating in here off of some of these different points to help you remember what some of your geometry is. So as we go and as we draw, so and I'm going to actually start to draw some of this. So you know here that this angle is 120 degrees. So when you get, after you uh, draw this 600 foot line at 180 degrees, gives you the end point, then you can go ahead and continue right on up to here with the length of that line at 120 degrees. But then you're actually given this 90 degree angle here, and you're gonna have to come up with some point or some angle uh, for this here. So, and I hope that by me drawing that line in there, you kind of recognize this. And as we talk about it, I'm going to go ahead one more line here. Let's do this, if you remember from geometry class. So, if I am at 120 degrees from here to there, that means I'm 60 degrees from this angle to here. Now, those complementary angles, that means this is 60, which means that if I go over here and to annotate and I do this angle, that means this angle from right here to there is going to be 30 degrees. So, and we'll put that in there. So, 
so just as a refresher and a memory uh, so now so then you could go ahead and you could draw your 30 degree angled line whatever the length of that is that gets you up to this point you got to use that same geometric concept so if uh, this is 30 going this way again that means this is 30 and if this is 30 degrees here that means this is 45 degrees following it all up if this angle made right here is 45 degrees then this angle here is 45 degrees which means 60 minus uh, 45 is going to be 15 degrees here so we're at 15 degrees here now at this point you're kind of going back and forth so if you're at 15 degrees here let me go back I'm gonna extend this line let's just kind of go back we'll draw another line here for construction purposes just so you can see so again if this angle here is 15 degrees that means that angle is 15 degrees and we're 90 here so now we have to kind of take the whole 180 so now you could do this going 180 all the way over plus your 15 which is 195 plus your 90 which would bring us to 285 or sometimes I like to just go the opposite way so we know that go on this and would put a minus in here so and this angle here then would be 180 minus the 90 shown here which leaves me 90 minus this 15 degrees which leaves me 75 so this I could do this and do this either minus uh, 75 degrees when I draw this line or I could go ahead and do it uh, all the way across which would be 360 minus that uh, 75 degrees or there so either way you go you can do it now again complementary angles still forming here so if both of these are 90 degrees as shown that means that this angle here is going to be the same as this angle up here so when you go to draw that line it's only going to be 15 degrees off of that whatever that distance is and then of course the last and final part will be to go ahead and uh, bring that down and make it connect to here so that you can actually see what that angle is put it in and actually uh, measure the line length there too which is part of the prob problem to come up with the actual line length so just a simple uh, geometric review on complementary and supplementary angles and how we use them in geometry and here in CAD to kind of help us figure out how to best draw these lines especially given that AutoCAD references all angles off of the uh, X positive horizontal axis there from every point so you have to kind of play with around with that and be aware of it as you go so hope uh, you learned something from this got something out of it make sure that you're applying that when you start to do some of these problems uh, here in your assignments so thanks for watching